It's another horror game about some random guy who hears about a really haunted house that has a really disturbing past and he decides to go there to prove whether or not the rumors about it are true. When he could have just stayed home and lived, but I mean, we're always playing someone who's kind of not the smartest, so... Let's start playing, I guess. I don't think it's supposed to be too long of a game, but with the way I usually play, I, I do tend to make short games kind of longer than they're supposed to be, so... We'll see. So far we're starting off with a, a nice long loading up. That's good. That's a good sign. Any minute now, we'll get to a cutscene. Perfect. I noticed there are two guys in that truck, so I don't know if we actually have a partner for this. Man, this place is something else. This forest feels endless. It's like a scene straight out of a horror movie. Yeah, I don't know, James. This place is giving me the creeps. Are you sure about this? Come on, you know this is what we do. Besides, our followers are gonna love this. The more haunted, the better. <laughs> no. What's funny is I'm actually playing this on Saturday, August 31st. But the game came out over a week ago. Are you serious? James, maybe we should get out of here. No, no, we need to capture this. It could be something big. Imagine the views. If it wasn't for the curse rumors, this would just be another abandoned house. It's the stories that make it interesting. Look, I think that's the house, up on the left. <sighs> Promise me you won't stay long. I'll wait in the car and keep an eye on things. And if anything goes wrong, we're out of here. Got it? Deal. I'll keep my walkie-talkie on. If you see or hear anything, let me know right away. Yeah, you too. And keep the camera rolling. If anything happens, I want it all on tape. You got it. This is gonna be one for the books, man. One for the books! Alright, so I do actually feel a little bit better knowing that we do have someone with us. Um, how helpful he'll be? I'm not sure. He's obviously not going into the house with us, but he is gonna be monitoring our camera, so... I'd like to think if something goes awry, he's gonna run in and save me, but um, we'll see. Did I need anything else, like any equipment out of the back before I get in there? No? Alright. I guess, yeah, we'll just keep this camera rolling the whole time and try to get in the house. It looks like- oh, a newspaper clipping. Okay. Unsolved mystery, body still missing, and a deeply disturbing tra- let me see if I can just press this. Here we go. Um, in a deeply disturbing and tragic incident, a respected family of four was brutally murdered in their South Carolina home. The discovery of this terrible crime left the small town community in a state of shock and mourning, compounded by the haunting mystery of the youngest daughter's missing body. So two of them? The victims, Walter and Rebecca Johnson, along with their daughters, Sarah, 16, and Emily, 11, were beloved members of their community. So all of them died? The entire family? Alright. Um... A concerned neighbor discovered the dreadful scene after noticing the family's unusual absence inside the home. The bodies of Walter and Rebecca were found in the living room, showing signs of a violent struggle. Tragically, Sarah's body was also found nearby, but Emily was missing. Local, state, and federal authorities launched a thorough investigation, meticulously analyzing the crime scene and collecting witness statements. Initial suspicions fell on a few individuals within the community, but a lack of solid evidence preve prevented any arrest. Despite detailed interrogations and scrutiny of alibis, no definitive connections to the crime could be established. The Johnson's neighbors were devastated, organizing search parties and prayer vigils in the hopes of finding Emily and bringing closure to the community. The case took a harrowing turn with the perplexing disappearance of Emily's body. Despite exhaustive searches by law enforcement and community volunteers, her remains were never found, leaving investigators in the community grappling with her fate and fueling speculation and rumors over the years. The close-knit community is reeling from the loss of Johnson family, holding vigils and receiving support from neighboring towns and cities. Just last night, the horrific tragedy unfolded, but the quest for justice and closure is already unwavering. Law enforcement agencies are fully de de dedicated to solving this heart-wrenching case, determined to uncover the truth behind the brutal act. Meanwhile, the Johnson's home now stands as a silent witness to the tragedy that befell them. As South Carolina grapples with the weight of this unspeakable crime, the memory of the Johnson family and the unanswered questions surrounding their tragic fate loom large. 
Okay. So we kind of have the whole story mostly, just we don't know what happened with um, Emily. Or who killed them, I guess, to begin with. But um, we know what happened in the house, roughly. Oh, we have night vision. Okay. I don't know if the door is just open already or if I'm supposed to be looking for a key. I guess I could try the door first. Okay, no. And the night vision doesn't seem to help us with that, but... I'm gonna assume there's a key in like... Okay, at least Bride's being a little helpful. I was thinking I would have to search like potted plants outside, but he has directed me over here, so I'm assuming the key is in here. Alright, we have some junk. And what does it look like? Oh, okay. actually it's not much different with or without the light. Well, it's not a light, but the night vision. Okay, there's a note here. Dear Mr. Thompson, please ensure the lawn is mowed and the flower beds are weeded this week. Also, kindly trim the hedges and water the plants in the greenhouse. There's four dollars enclosed for your efforts. Thank you for your hard work. Because, like, this is implying that this note has been left here for all of these years and it's in pristine condition. Which, it just doesn't make sense and isn't believable. I'm just saying. Right, I didn't find a key. I just found that note. I don't think that's the only thing we came in here for, right? But as far as I can tell, I can't really interact with anything else. Okay, wait a second. Never mind. What about over here? I'm pretty sure I already checked over here, but we're just gonna do a double check. Can I crouch? Oh, I can. Okay, nothing down here for me. Alright, we're good. Nope. Nothing. Alright, I guess um, we came in here for fun. Alright, you have any other things to tell me to check out, Brian? Alright, I guess I'm gonna go back to my looking for potted plants plan. Since that panned out with nothing. Okay, I can't go past this point because they have trash barrels blocking me off. But it does look like I- oh, never mind. I was gonna say, but it does look like I can roam the outside of the house, but there's an invisible wall, so not really. I can check the back of the cabin, but that's- that's unhelpful. Hmm. You would think since I knew I was coming to this abandoned home to go inside and take film that I would have brought in some sort of tools with me so I could have gotten inside but I, I didn't think of that for some reason oh wait a second can I read this again okay I was wondering if this happened to say if um oh god damn it if you need any tools you can find them in the basement all right I assume that's the basement key I was wondering, I'm like, why is this note here? It seems like it's relevant, but I can't think of why it's relevant right now. Alright, can I look up- oh, okay, I have a sleeping- oh, we're gonna sleep here? Uh, we're making really terrible decisions already. Alright. So, I, like I said, I assume this is supposed to unlock a basement, but I don't see access to a basement anywhere, so I'm just gonna try the front door instead. Okay, it worked. And we just have to go through another one of these really painfully long cutscenes. I mean, I say cutscene, I meant loading screen. Okay, that was kind of fast. But it loaded up really fast last time and then we got stuck on this black screen for like a whole minute. So it seems like it's happening again. Other than that, I would say so far, it's not much of the game that we've seen so far, but it's promising so far. I like the backstory. I like that we have a companion and that we're slightly prepared for this for once in a horror game. In chapters. All right. Can, why is my camera off? Can we get that back up, please? Okay, I'm in. This place is even creepier on the inside. I'll have a look around the house. Got it. Make sure to use a night vision camera for better footage. All right, we're on it. 
let's um i don't i don't know why this looks so weird to me this i feel like that doesn't make a lot of sense but i'm pretty sure we're never gonna get these lights on so we'll just uh just start exploring i don't think we have an actual objective game plan at the moment just exploring the house hoping to live so far i don't see any ghost activity so we might actually survive but it's early to be saying things like that so Okay, I remember that door. The trash bins are like over here blocking my path up here. Alright, this bedroom is clear. I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, actually, what's this? I need to code. Okay, I'm gonna need four numbers, but even if I find the four numbers, it's not letting me like directly interact with this uh lock thing for some reason, so I'm not sure what that's about, but that's probably just for later, I guess. Can I run? Um, I can hustle a little bit. I don't think this is gonna be fast enough if anything decides to chase me, but it's better than nothing. Hmm. Alright, that's locked. Great. So since they said Emily's body was missing, that makes me think either she's the one that killed everyone or she got demon possessed and is, is just haunting the house now and she's the main issue we're going to be having. I don't think I need to know that number, but I'll just make note that it's here in case I think it's relevant in the future. All right, I'm not really seeing anything here either. There's nothing to interact with think we're good okay oh wait what's this oh it's just a closet or wardrobe that we can't open all right this door is slightly ajar which makes me think there's something in here there's a light on in here which is very suspicious and it's the children's bedroom and it's one of the two children who went missing so all right, just before I go over there. All right, I'm ready. Obviously someone lit this candle recently. All right, let's uh, just do this. Dear diary, something strange happened today. I was playing in mommy and daddy's room and I heard whispers. It sounded like someone was talking quietly, but no one was there. I asked daddy about it and he said it was just the house making noises. It didn't feel like that though. I got really scared and ran to my room. I hope it doesn't happen again, Emily. So that kind of, I feel like, does suggest the potential demonic possession aspect that I mentioned. She's hearing whispers in the house. Alright, let's just- oh, these are cute. <laughs> Though at the same time, I feel like these aren't exactly the type of posters a child in the 1970s would have up, but... Did, did they have headphones back in the 1970s? I'm not sure, to be honest with you, but I'll just keep going. All right, I'm always looking around whenever I exit or enter a room. It's just dark in here. I need to find a way to light this place up. We have night vision though. Why do we need to light it up? Alright, so that's what was blocked off before when I first entered. There's a kind of makeshift bed here. I'm gonna go this way though. Wait, no, is this a kid's bedroom again? It is, my bad. Okay, let me just keep exploring this direction and then I'll go back into that more main area. This is a big house. Looks like this door is locked tight. I need to find some lockpicks to get it open. Once again, I'm not sure why he didn't think of that before coming here. He thought to bring a whole friend with him and the camera, but not lockpicks or crowbar or even a flashlight. All right, so I guess we do have to turn on the power after all, which I thought we wouldn't have to worry about, but I was mistaken. Obviously, I assume it's gonna be in the basement, but we'll just finish exploring around first. Okay. 
everything seems fine in here. This is, I don't know if it's my imagination, but this tub seems kind of longer than usual, but I don't think that is relevant to the story. All right, and I think we've explored everything on the side now. I, s I need a lockpick and I need to turn on the lights. So far are our two kind of objectives. I do see some lights over there. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. 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 I was worried about that. I was like, oh, sur surely those aren't two eyes peering at me in the darkness. They're just some lights reflecting off of something. And yeah, they were lights reflecting off of some entity in that room. Uh, but I'm just going to pretend like I didn't see it. So everything's fine. Oh, wait, what's this? I mean, it kind of looks like something I'd need to pick up to restore the power, doesn't it? But it doesn't want me to pick it up, so I guess I'll mind my business. Okay, that's outside. This is around where I saw the eyes, so I'm like not keen on going over there, but I don't think I have like a whole lot of choice. Let me just uh, keep looking over here. Is that outside again? Yep, okay. So this is the last room on this floor that we have to explore. I'm looking. It's okay, it's fine. I don't I don't see anyone. Okay, let's make sure no one's hiding on the couch. Oh, it's this. It's it oh, exactly what I needed. Lock picks. Nice. All right. Um He's real lucky they decided to leave some lockpicks out. And there's yet another thing that looks like I need it, but maybe until I find the fuse box, I can't pick these up, but once I do, then I can come back for them. And so I'll just have to make mental note of where they are. All right, and then the room we had to unlock, I think was back this way. I'm not sure if the order matters too much, like if we should be exploring upstairs first before we try to get this done, but I'm here, so I just wanna... Oh, I don't know how to lockpick. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, not there, not there. How about here? Here? How about here? Oh, oh shit, I just broke one. Shit, are these limited? Alright, I did it. Okay, I see that they have some sort of weird panic room that is not usual to see in a house. Also, this found looks the like fuse box, but yeah. all four fuses are blown. I need to find replacements to get the lights on. Okay, can I just clear these out then if these are all broken? No. All right. Well, I do know where um two of them are. I'm not sure if this is controlled by the power or if I'm going to need a separate key for this. I don't really see a keyhole for it, so all right, so I'll go get the two that I recall seeing, which was one in the- I don't know what that noise was. I saw one in the kitchen and one in the living room. Okay. Yeah, there's one back here in this um, pantry area. Okay, got it. Cool, cool. That music definitely- oh. Okay. No, it's fine. No big deal. And then there was one, I think, just right around this corner. Alright, so I don't know if they're all on the first floor, or if I now have to go upstairs. I'm just gonna go through all the rooms one more time to make sure I didn't miss any other ones, because I wasn't really on the lookout for a few- Brian, can you bring in the big cameras? We need better footage of what's happening here. Does that imply he's actually going to come into the house with me? That'd be pretty cool. Alright, so as I said, yeah, I'm just going to look through all the floors. I mean, look through all the rooms on this floor again for fuses. And then I'll go upstairs. I'm just nervous about going upstairs because I know that upstairs is where things are going to get a little bit more 
active, let's say. But if I have no choice, then obviously that's where we'll go for the fuses. There's even a chance that I have enough fuses already and that it only needs me to replace two of them and not all four, but for now I'm gonna go with the assumption of all four. Mm. I'd vaguely thought that I maybe had seen a fuse in this room, but I guess I didn't. Alright, and then it's just this and the area that I came in from. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this I feel like does imply that all four fuses are down here, because we just need one more left. There was also a big bedroom that I assume was the parents' bedrooms. I don't remember where it was though. Okay, that doesn't open. Can we leave, by the way? I'm just wondering. We have to record some footage before leaving. Of course. That is more important than our life. Haha. <laughs> okay. I don't remember where the parents' bedroom is. Unless- oh, it's probably over here. Okay. So I would assume if there is- oh, there we go. It says witness a paranormal event for the first time, but- oh, th these open. That's the paranormal event. Okay, I'll go outside. I oh, I can't. There's an invisible wall. It's sad. Can I close these? Alright, if I can't go outside, then I might as well close them. Make sure animals don't randomly come in here. Okay, so we have all the fuses. Alright, I almost forgot that there's that door there that we have to deal with at some point, too. Alright, so let's go try to put these in without incident. Also, I didn't really realize that this door was pounded down. Okay, I'm just walking. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. She wasn't very subtle about that, huh? She was just chilling there. Just not going anywhere, staring at me. No worries. Both the he my character's not even worried. I'm surprised he hasn't radioed Brian about this. He should be like, oh my god, I just got the best paranormal footage ever in existence. We can totally leave now. It's like he didn't see her at all. Alright, well let's uh, replace these. Use. Alright, that was easy. So can we open this? No. Does that mean all these lights work though? Oh, oh it does. Nice. Alright, I still need the night vision for now, but um... Hmm. I'm just wondering what's gonna open this then? Because like I said, it doesn't seem like it takes a key. Hmm. Okay, now let me just... Go around every room turning every single light on for my comfort. Oh, it did not make that brighter. Is there like a second light switch in here I'm missing? Oh, not- no, actually. That's really the only light in here? What a weird fucking placement. Alright. I'm gonna turn- oh, also I didn't even notice that the toilet is separate from the rest of the bathroom. That's a tad strange. Oh no. Oh no, something happened to my bro. Alright, one second. I'll worry about him in a sec. I just want to get all these lights on first, like I said. Was there any light for this hallway? Because there's a light there, which implies there should be a switch for it nearby. Okay, let me just hit- James. Oh. Oh, Brian? I heard him. He called me. He said James. <gasps> Brian! The, did the power really just go out after I fixed it? After I just spent time fixing it? Get my camera back up. Oh no, he's bleeding a lot! Check what happened with Brian and pick up the camera. Zero to seven, fuck. Alright, one second. Let me just- can I- oh, okay, luckily the lights do still work. Um, is there an invisible wall here suddenly? I'm not allowed to go back this way anymore. That kind of is annoying. Okay, one second. Scratch my nose, Michi. Okay. Um, light switch. Do that. That did nothing. 
Okay. Um. Let me just turn this light on real quick. Okay, great. All right, there's a lot of cameras. Yeah, he he really was carrying all of them. All right, gr grab that, and we'll just um, we'll grab this. That's two. I don't know if we have to set them down too right now, but um, let me see. Yeah, it just says pick up the cameras. It didn't say place them anywhere yet. Also, once again, why didn't Brian have any reaction to that at all? And when I say Brian, I mean our character, James. Oh, is that a note? It is, it is. I mean, it's kind of a note, but not one we could read. Okay, how many is this? I don't know. Five? Oh, do I hear... I, I don't know if I heard him. Oh, he went... Oh, no. I don't think I can go in there, though. I'm gonna need to find that code sooner than I thought. I thought this would be like, end, well it could still be the end of game thing, but it seems kind of crucial to get in there right now since he, they have my friend. Alright, place down the cameras. Okay good, they have outlines of where to do that because I didn't know. One. Is this gonna be that helpful to me though? Are we gonna have like a station where we can see all the cameras and what they're filming at the same time? Because. I feel like we don't have access to a room like that. It's still- the lights on it are going off as if the alarm's still on, but I don't hear it, so... Okay, that's one, two... So I assume just one for every room that we can actually access. So let me get in here, yeah, here we go. Prob maybe minus the uh, bathroom, but we'll see. Okay, there's one in the kids room we should probably have like 10 in here i think this is going to be the most paranormal spot since this was emily's room and as i was about to say emily's clearly the one roaming around in here so she's just having a good time and we place this uh okay actually i'm actually surprised we're not putting one in this bathroom I know I said, oh, probably not the bathroom, but I when I said that I meant this area, but okay. Nothing over here. How many did I play so far? So we just need two more. I know I saw one off to this area, so we still have not had to go upstairs, which is kind of neat. Everything's just been downstairs. I assume the final one's in this living room. Yeah, there we go. These actually aren't bad placements. I'm just too tired for this right now. <laughs> Let's set up the sleeping bag in a safe room and sleep a bit. Which room I'll do you think is safe? Tomorrow. Let the me know. Looks pretty isolated. All right. I mean, I guess the bathroom does have a working door, unlike the other room. So, but also, I like how casual he is about that. He's like, oh, I'll get the sword in the morning. I know there's like some demon girl roaming around, and she has my friend in the basement, and he's dying, but. This isn't really that big a deal. We can wait till the morning. Let's go to sleep. Alright, let's close that. If you don't- uh, why am I stuck? Why am I stuck here? Oh, it was because it's gonna immediately go to loading screen when I went there. Awkward. So I guess this is gonna end up being chapter 2 next. I'm not sure how many chapters there are to this game. But so far chapter 1? I mean, besides his reactions, which I feel like aren't appropriate and stuff unless he just really hates his friend um aside from that it's solid so far it's good okay that didn't take as long as the other times who's that uh, oh we have a flashlight when did we have this? How long have we had this for? This is much better than the camera. Oh, also, now that we have all those cameras set up, we actually technically might not need our camcorder out anymore. Hmm, okay. I kind of like that. Okay, let's go see who was at the door. It's either going to be Emily or Brian who was able to escape all by himself and he's like hella mad that I didn't come for him. Huh, that door wasn't closed before. Oh, that sounds like it's coming from this way. I guess we'll explore this way. 
based off of how it looks foggy right now, I'm, I'm assuming we're dreaming, but we'll find out in a moment, I guess. Okay. I don't know if this is supposed to be Morse code that I'm supposed to be figuring out. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely dreaming, I'm assuming. Alright, well, here we go. Do, do, do. Hmm. This is the- oh, we just came out of where Brian was taken. I certainly didn't see Brian though. Oh, oh no, oh, he really shouldn't be doing that. Let's try to get him to stop. Brian, are you okay? So casually saying that, like he's still not alarmed. Hey, can you stop please? We don't have insurance for you. Stop it. How do I stop him? Hey, cut it out. I don't know, I don't think we have a plan for that. Maybe if I turn this off? Maybe if I... Nope, that's not a plan. Hmm, this is a thinker. Okay, there has to be something I'm missing in this room. I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking for... Okay, I guess I just had to look away from him for a second and... He was just too shy to stop, but once I looked away he was all good. Okay, so I don't know if this is implying that there's like a secret room behind this or that he's a ghost now and he can just walk straight through walls but um okay that doesn't open still so we'll go back the other way in a second let me put this back up I'm actually at this point not 100% sure if I am dreaming or not um why? Why didn't you help me? I asked James that too. I'm not sure why he's just casually sleeping in the bathroom unalarmed. Oh, a sprite. Oh, I'm supposed to walk through there? Because I feel like I can. It's too big. Too bright. Oh, okay. It's just cutscene time again. When I say cutscene loading screen, I don't know why I keep saying cutscene for loading screen. Though I assume it's going to lead to a cutscene, but... Yeah. So, obviously... I don't know, I was gonna say obviously Brian's not having a good time. And yeah, whether that's a dream or not that we're having, he certainly is bleeding out somewhere. So... Did we not bring a cell phone to call 911? Because I know we have one, it's 2024 in the game currently. So... We'll see. I'm, I'm kind of thinking we're not gonna be able to get a good end with this character playing like this. He needs to like get a little bit more serious about living. If we're gonna get good end. But he has time. He has time to turn over a new leaf. We'll see. Is it morning? Oh, I'm actually surprised we made it to morning. Thank God it was just a dream. Kinda seems like he woke up and just completely forgot about Brian. Alright, so do I have anything? Oh, I have my camcorder still. I don't have a flashlight anymore. Right? Nope. Alright. Well, it's morning, so I realistically shouldn't need the uh, camera. Oh, why? Why does this noise keep happening? Can I turn this on? Why is the power off again? Can I fix that or... Alright, let me- since I'm near where the power thing is, let me see if I can just- Wait, it seems like the power's on though. The lights are on. So what's the problem? Weird. Okay. I guess let's um go see about Brian. It doesn't seem like my character cares at all anymore, but I'll I'll try to save him. Also, if you hear background noise, it's just uh someone else I live with getting up to use the bathroom, which is near my room. Uh, let's see. I forget which room it was. Oh, right, it was the parent. Oh, yeah, we can see this a lot clearer now. All those blood. So, and can we leave yet? I do notice this car is facing the other way, which is a bit weird. The door key doesn't work anymore. If it was me, that wouldn't really stop me. I just, it's not a very strong looking door, you know? Okay, let's see. There is this here, which wasn't here before. I don't think. I don't know if this is supposed to be some sort of message I need to decipher. Um, 
I'll need to unlock that door to find Brian. Okay. Oh, a note. This wasn't here before. Dear diary, I'm getting more scared. The noises are louder now, and they come from all over the house. Last night I heard crying from the basement. It sounded like a little girl, but when I asked mommy, she said I was imagining things. I found a hiding spot in our room behind the cabinet. I don't want to be alone anymore. Hiding spot behind the cabinet, which is what I was thinking. So first, let me just want to- I know we can't open it, but I just want to give- oh, oh, now we can get to this though, so that must mean there is a code somewhere. Alright, I certainly haven't seen anything that looks like a code, but I haven't been upstairs at all still, so that's probably where that's going to come into play. Unless I can access this, uh, hidden this hiding spot area behind a cabinet. Not this cabinet. I guess that's a closet and not a cabinet, so maybe they mean the cabinet in the kids' room. That might make more sense. Alright, I'll go there in a second. I just- oh, wait, there's more stuff back here. I don't know if that's- like I said, I don't know if that's supposed to symbolize something for me. And maybe that's like the numbers, like these two dots here count as two, maybe? And then this one, since it's like kind of three swirl things, or maybe it counts as two as well, I don't know. We'll come back to it. If I can't find any actual numbers anywhere, then I'll start to take those symbols on the wall a little bit more seriously. But in the meantime, let's uh, look for that secret cabinet spot, which, as I said, is probably in the kids' room. And if that doesn't, okay. oh, this wasn't like this before. That's correct. All right, I guess that's um. I actually didn't mean to do that. Let me put this back up. We want to record our death. Alright, perfect. Let's crouch. Okay, looks like there's a cute little maze thing here. And a key to something. Dad hid my marble balls in the basement. I need to find the marble ball in the basement. Why? Oh, right, to do this puzzle that's in front of my face. I also haven't found where the basement door is, so... I guess it must be one of the locked doors, obviously. Right, place the ball here, and then obviously we're gonna have to maneuver through here and get here. What will that unlock though? I don't know, hopefully the code to the door to save Brian, but we'll see. And once again, I'm surprised that we still have not had to go upstairs a single time. Like, maybe we can do this whole game without going upstairs at all, that'd be kind of funny. Alright, so I'm gonna assume that this door over here is the basement. It's not. Alright, um, I'm trying to think where else there was locked doors. I think there was at least one more locked door somewhere around here. Oh, maybe that's the basement. Maybe? She's the basement. Okay, Brian's giving us a tip. But I have no choice, so all he's doing is scaring me. I have to come down here. I'm not sure if I should go with night vision or not. Okay, she just came out of that vent and climbed on the ceiling and disappeared immediately. <sighs> but I need to find the things. Oh, I can hide. Oh, okay. I don't like that mechanic because that's going to make it a lot harder to get what I need to get done done if I have to worry about hiding from her as she roams around. But, you know, we'll figure it out, I guess. Oh shit, there she is. All right, we have to find one little marble ball in an entire giant basement while also somehow running from her. This kind of sucks. They're making this really tough for me. I don't know if it's safe. She went that way, so I'm gonna go this way. I feel like that makes sense. Also, let me get this. Oh, there's a key over there. Oh, I grabbed it. Looted red key. All right, I don't know what red key's for. This is gonna be hard. This basement is too big and it looks like there's a mechanic of like having to go through many different colored doors. I'm assuming this is good. There's gonna be like a blue key and a yellow key and a green key along with this. I'm hoping this counts as hiding from her. Is that a light bulb? I'm not sure. I don't want to like go in the range of the see-through door because I assume she could see you through the see-through door. But I guess um, I'll just have to be brave. Is it a light bulb? Oh, it's the now marble! The maze. Okay, we don't even need to be down here anymore. 
Ugh. But I think she's like coming right over here though, so I have to wait a minute. I don't know if she can open doors. I assume she can open doors if she can drag a whole man away, but... I'm just really nervous to exit. I feel like she's super close right now. Okay, let me let me peek. Let me peek out there. I can't really see past my own camera glare. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna try to go the way I came. I feel like that's gonna be the f oh fuck there she is. But maybe we can follow behind her. But we'd have to hope she doesn't randomly turn around and I don't know if I will be so lucky. Please be chill, be chill. Okay, okay. Oh, she's cute. She's kind of cute. All right, I'm going. We're up. We're closing this. All right. Oh, I don't know that I'm safe necessarily, but I do feel a little bit better. All right. I forgot it was daytime too. Now that I'm up here in the light, I feel safe. Perhaps I'm mistaken to feel safe, but... Oh, nice. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. I don't know if this is going to be kind of hard. Obviously, we know what the path is because it's kind of lined out for us, but... Alright, um, do that, and then how do we... Oh, okay. Yeah, this might be kind of hard. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, we don't want to go there? No? Oh god, I'm going too fast, I think. Oh, fuck. Okay, we have to go over again. Okay. It says, like, one of those survivor challenge puzzles. I used to watch Survivor all the time. Though it got pretty bad after, like, two seasons, so... Slowly, slowly, slow- No! Oh, this is hard. It's harder than what it would be in real life, I feel like. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. Slow, slow and steady. It's just hard to go slow with this. Eh. Careful, 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 careful. Oh god, oh god, oh Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright, we're getting there. We're, we're, oh, oh, oh. Okay, I know I said slow and steady and I'm just going wild with it, but fuck. Leave me alone. Okay, I think we got this. Oh, that was hard. What did we get? What was our prize? Um. Did I do it wrong or. Oh, here we go. As if I had seen these symbols before. Turn up your texture quality if you're having trouble reading the numbers and symbols. Alright, so it seems to be saying that these symbols represent numbers. And I mean, we obviously can't read what this text is saying specifically, but we do see Roman numerals next to each symbol, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna get a pen and write down... Or I could just take a picture of it with my phone. Actually, that would be way faster. Okay. Wait a second. It's just that second symbol. It has like the no Roman numeral next to it that shows one. But so does that squiggly line one. It's yeah, the squiggly line looking one also says Roman numeral one next to it, so I don't know if that's correct that they're supposed to both mean that number or if I'm somehow reading that wrong, but I don't know. I'm just looking at the picture on my phone to make sure the quality of it's decent enough for me to move from this page. I think so. Oh shit, there's a back. Okay, one second. Let me take a picture of this as well. Oh, I can zoom in on it too, which would help slightly. All right. Okay. So I don't know how this is gonna help me that much though, especially if um all those symbols are out and about and I won't know what order they go in either. So. But let me go to the room that had two of the symbols in it because I'm hoping that it'll have just all four of symbols somewhere. 
and that I just somehow missed the other two. Not helpful. Oh, there's another symbol. Okay. So there's three in this room, so I'm assuming there's a fourth one. Oh, yeah, here's the fourth one. I assume that's the one that has uh, a third one at the bottom. Alright, so we have found all four numbers, but like I said, the new issue is what order do these go in? Because you can make a whole lot of different combinations with these four numbers, so... That's not really good enough, in my opinion. Unless they want me to go in order of when I first see them in the room, so this would be like one... Um, two, three, and then four. That's the only thing I can think of. So, let me just- okay, now I'm gonna get the pen and paper to write down the numbers. I'm just getting the pictures up on my phone and I'm gonna write down what each symbol means. All right, so let's see. So the squiggly line one I think was one. I think, I mean, one, oops, one. And then we have that one over there, which I think is just the two. Okay, so that one's a six, and then the one behind the clothing or curtain over there is, let's see, looks like two. All right, and then the one behind the bed, I need to take a look at again. I'm trying to do this with one finger. Okay, second. All right. Let's see what that number is. So that one is also a two. Are we sure this is right? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm gonna try one, six, two, two. And if that doesn't work, I'll do the reverse. And if that doesn't work, then I'll have to try a bunch of other combos until it works. Which seems like bad game design. One, six, two. Two. Is it telling me this isn't working? I think that's the case. That sucks. Alright. So next is then two, two, six, two. I mean, six, one. Okay, that didn't work. So next would be, I don't know, like I said, after that it could be any sort of different combo. Um, I'm just gonna write out the combos on my uh, paper here so I could know what to do in order. So after that it could be like one, two, six, two, or it could be one, two, two, six. Um, and then it, if it's not that then it could be two six two one or two six one two or t -t -t thinking thinking or two two one six hmm 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 All right, let me try these combos for now. Just these extra five I've written down. And if those don't work, then I'll keep writing more combos. All right, so one, two, six, two. Nope. And then one, two, two, six. Nope. And then two, six, two, and then one. I'm just not sure if I should be pressing anything for it to unlock or if it's just gonna auto unlock when it happens. All right, and then two, six, one, two. Nope. 
and then two two one six. Okay, that didn't work either. So now I have to do another batch of numbers. So next would be um six one two two or six two one two or six two two one. All right. Six, one, two, two, or six, uh, two, oops, my bad, I went past the two, two, one, two, nope, or six, two, two, one, no, hmm. So I've already run out of, run out of combos that I can think of right now. So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. <sighs> I'm thinking. All right, can I look at the, let me just look at it on my phone again. I might have to go back to the room to see it clearer cause taking a picture of my phone screen I mean, of my computer screen with my phone doesn't turn out the super crispest and clearest, but I'm pretty sure I'm reading this right. Wait, actually, I have one idea. Let me, um, one sec, one sec. Hmm. Oh shit, I think I, I just realized the mistake I made. Oh no. Okay, one second. Alright, let, let me just look at this other symbol real quick. I see. I see the mistake I have made. So I thought this symbol was um, a different symbol that looks extremely similar. But the difference is, is that like this top part goes out as evenly as this bottom part. And I was confusing it for that one where it's even on the top and bottom. But this one means that the number is actually seven. Oh, I heard my bad. Oh. Okay, so that means one of these twos is a seven. So I think this last two is. I'm just gonna turn that into a seven. Okay. So now that we have that, um, let me just once more com confirm. Yep, yep. Okay. So let me try. I might have to try multiple combos again, but let me just try the first combo of the order that I see them as I walk into the room, which is one, six, two, seven. Darn, it did not work. I was, I was really hopeful that that would work this time. All right, let me try the opposite now of seven and then six. Wait, would it be? No, it would be two, two, and then six, and then one. Nope. Okay, one second. Let me just, I guess, look around and make sure that I'm not confusing these other symbols for other symbols too. Could be another issue before I start going through all the different combos again. I just wish I could confirm the one behind here. I'm pretty sure there's only one symbol that looks down like that with the three going out. So I don't think I could be confusing that for anything. And this one I can see quite clearly here too. Let me just, I'll confirm again on my little... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh shit, I actually got the number wrong for this one as well. There's yet another one that looks almost identical to this, but it's not like spread out as much. Or it's spread out wider, these two parts at the bottom, than this one is, and I confused it for that one. So this one's actually... What is that? I think that's a nine. Yeah, that's a nine. Okay, L let's see if this time it works. Okay, so like, um, so I think this goes in the second spot. So now my new number, if we're going in order of when I see the symbols as I walk in the room, it's now 1927. Let's try that. 1927. Fuck. Oh, oh, it worked. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh. Took us a while, sorry about- oh, oh no. 
I mean, we kind of, well, Brian doesn't deserve it, but we deserve for bad things to happen to us since we're the ones that decided to be chill and leave him for a while. Obviously that would have happened if we decided to wait a whole day. Hmm. I don't know which way to go. I don't have my camera or flashlight or anything. Okay, I'm standing on, um, on something. I don't know if I can walk off though. I don't think I can. I don't see a path anywhere. Oh, I can't actually walk off this at all. I'm just stuck here, waiting for something to take me, I guess, at this point. Oh, oh, here we go. All right, um, I don't know if it matters what side I walk on, but I'm just gonna go with this side for now. All right. So we still- I don't know if we're even meant to go upstairs at this point, but um, we still have potentially the whole upstairs to explore, and then we still have that one weird panic room looking thing to deal with. Oh, oh great, we're going through a looping corridor. Alright, can I jog? I can't. I have lost the ability to run. I guess we'll just keep going and hope that things change at some point or we're just trapped in this maze forever which is what James kind of deserves after what happened to Brian. Oh it's locked this time. Turn around carefully. All right I guess we'll go back this way. Sometimes you're meant to go back the other way or perhaps we're supposed to look for an item this time in the hallway. Okay, that is also locked. Great, great. All right, so I'll, I'll look around a bit. Let me just confirm again that I have nothing. Okay, I don't. Oh, we actually even still have an old objective up for some reason. Hmm. Don't oh, leave me here. <laughs> that kind of sounds like James saying that though, not Brian. Weird. All right, maybe we can leave now. And we just had to wait for the radio to go off. All right, well, I'm gonna try. Oh, yeah, it opened. Okay. I'm just on edge because I am- <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> yeah, I was gonna say I'm expecting a jump scare any moment and it came before I could even finish saying that. Also, surprisingly, James has had nothing to say for a while, but he's just been super cool and chill the whole time, so I guess this is no bother to him. It's just in the background I'm just folding up some paper real quick tidying up my desk area while I wait for this loading screen I think we completed chapter two so we should be loading into chapter three I think I'm not sure if this is gonna end up turning into an exorcism of Emily I don't think we came with equipment for that, but we can see if we can find some items in the house for it. I assume that panic room was made for Emily because the family knew something was up with her. So we might actually be able to use that room to our advantage if we can get it open. But first we have to get through the loading screen to be able to continue playing. And I have pressed the key in case you're thinking that this is taking forever because I haven't pressed anything yet. Like it's saying on the screen, I have, I have. I'll even click again. So you can know for sure that I did. All right, there we go. Back in this room. Hmm, I wonder what happens if I open that door now. Is he still gonna be in there? I'm even kind of hoping that maybe, it, we don't know for sure that that was Brian. For starters, we could have imagined it. We could have dreamed it. And we didn't actually see who was inside of that body bag. Like could have been anyone. 
Okay. Echoes of the lost. Okay, finally. What did they do to you? He's finally reacting the way you would expect a normal person to react. Alright, well, I mean, to be fair, I, I still want to be hopeful that it's not Brian, but I'm pretty sure it's Brian. Uh, I can't read that. I know there's a note there. Let me just peek in this room real quick fully. Let me close this if I can. God, this is difficult. Okay. Do we have the camera? Let's get this up real quick so I can keep reading what's on the wall. Okay, it's just a bunch of crosses. Let's see, it says Satan, Hell, Up, Devil. Um, I can't actually get around the body. Deep, Pride, Pain, Hate, Run, Fallen, You. Some words I don't know. Help. Alright, let's read this. Maybe this is Brian writing an angry letter to me. No, it thinks just Emily again. Dear diary, the thoughts are getting stronger. I tried to find a way to stop them, so I found an old book in the attic. It had strange symbols and words that I didn't understand. When I started reading from it, everything went wrong. My hand began to write some things on its own. Things that I don't make sense- wait, don't make sense? Today was so much fun. I played with my dolls and laughed all day, but that's not true. I wasn't playing. I was running, hiding from the voice. Or was I? The thoughts are stronger and it's getting harder to remember what's real. The voice is in control making me feel things that aren't real. I'm losing myself and I don't know how to stop it. And that's kind of happening to us as well. It's as if two completely different voices are battling for control on the same page. Alright. So, once more the theory I had earlier about how she was probably possessed, Emily, uh, is just accurate, I guess. I nailed it. But I don't know how to fix that because I'm playing as an idiot content creator who wouldn't really know how to exercise anyone, so I don't know if we can win this, but we're gonna try. Do I have a zoom function? Oh, I have not tried this the whole game. I don't think it's that helpful, but I like it. I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So what's our plan? Do we have an objective? Check the attic. Okay, we already got the marbles. I don't know why that hasn't cleared out. Oh yeah, we do have this red key that we got from the basement. And I... Was that an accident? Did we not need to grab that at all? I don't know. Do we still have it in our inventory? We don't. I have no idea. Wait, maybe we did use the key to unlock that door that led to the marble? I don't recall having to unlock that door, but... Maybe I did and I was just too focused on how Emily was roaming around that I didn't notice. Okay, attic. So, attic implies... So that probably means we finally have to actually go upstairs. All right. I think the way to the stairs is this way. I keep hearing a lot of noises in this house. It's nighttime now, right? Okay. All right, we have no choice. Finally going up the stairs. Is, is this the attic? Does this count as the attic? Oh shit, it does. Oh, this is a weirdly, weirdly... Okay, whatever, I don't care. I didn't make the house, it's not my rules. Okay, I'd rather not close that behind me, actually. I'm very nervous, because obviously we can see what's here, so... Emily's clearly up here. Fuck. Why, why did we decide to come up here again? I forget what his reasoning was. He just felt like it. He's like, it's, I haven't explored up here yet, it'll probably be fun. Because I feel like his objective should be find something to smash the glass of the window and escape. But nope. He's like, this isn't enough content. I don't know if this house is really haunted yet. I know Brian's dead, but like maybe he just wasn't feeling good today and he decided to do that himself. Oh, oh, there's stuff here. Okay, what's this thing first? Chalk. Ugh, God, we're gonna have to finish this? Why? Why would we do that? We're gonna make things worse. It's like he's never seen any horror movie in his life. <sighs> he's reading this and he thinks, yes, I should, I should do this. All right, let me uh make this easier to read for myself. The ritual of exorcism is most effective when dealing with a particularly malevolent entity, such as the demon Astaroth, an ancient and fearsome being known for its cunning and manipulation. If a person is under the influence of this demon, showing signs of extreme psychological torment, violent outburst, or unusual knowledge of forbidden subjects, this ritual may be their only hope for salvation. It should only be attempted by those with strong spiritual fortitude, as the demon will resist fiercely and use every ounce of its power to remain in control. Draw an ancient protection symbol on the floor using white chalk. The symbol should be circular with an intricate design in the center representing the balance between light and darkness. Place six candles at the cardinal points around the circle. Light each candle while reciting a prayer or incantation for protection. 
Place the doll of the possessed in the center of the circle. The doll serves as a direct link to the person who is possessed, anchoring their soul within the protective symbol. Um, place the ancient book at one point of the triangle, representing ancient wisdom and knowledge which the demon fears. Place the old ring at another point of the triangle, symbolizing the bond of life and protection. Place the metal coin at the final point of the triangle, representing judgment and the value of the soul. The exorcist stands outside the circle, focusing intently on the possessed individual in the center. Begin by holding up the cross, which symbolizes divine authority and protection. While holding the cross aloft, chant the sacred words of banishment. Start with the name of the possessed, followed by the demon's name, Astaroth, and conclude with the command for the demon to leave. Chanting. Do I, do I have to actually chant this out loud? By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command you, Astaroth, to depart from the name of the possessed. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bind you, Astaroth, and cast you out from this vessel. Be gone from the name of the possessed, and return to the darkness from which you came. The soul is not yours to claim. Continue to hold the cross high, and deliver the final forceful command for the demon to depart. Be prepared for resistance from the possessed, but maintain unwavering determination. With the Holy Cross as my shield, I command you, Astaroth, to leave this body, and never return. By the power of Christ, be gone. The doll used the, during the ritual should be burned to sever any remaining connection between the possessed and the demon. The ring and coin should be buried far from the ritual site to prevent any residual influence. Finally, clean and store the cross securely, reserving it for future use in dire circumstances. Okay, so we need a doll. I don't know if all these things are already up here if we have to go searching through the house for them. But doll, old ring, ancient book, metal coin... Okay, four things. Book, ring, coin, doll. Alright. So I was just talking about how he's not an exorcist. It's not like he can do anything here anymore. But they just gave him the full instructions on how to be an exorcist suddenly. So I guess uh, we're ready. Okay, so there are six candles here. Do we have a lighter? I'm not sure. We might need to find a lighter too. I know we have the chalk. Let's just see if we can find the other items up here. What's this? Ew. Oh god, I didn't even notice what I was staring at. I thought this was just some rubble and debris, but where did all these come from? Okay, anyways. There's not more notes on the floor, right? Alright, let me just, um... Make sure we don't have all the things we need just hiding in the corner convenient. Can I stand back up, please? Alright, that's better. Do I have a new objective? Oh, well, it wants me to finish the symbol right now, but I'll admit I'd rather wor worry about finishing the- What the hell's that noise? Worry about finishing the symbol until, um, I have all the other stuff, because I feel like once I finish the symbol, the uh, possessed person is going to start getting a little upsetty. So... I don't think we have a choice, let's just, um... And do it so it tells me the next thing. Oh, I have to hold it. Alright. We did it. Alright, and let's see. Find a lighter and light the six candles. Alright. I'll recheck the room again because this could be another situation where um we need to, to unlock that item becoming grabbable. We have to have done one thing first to then blah blah blue blue so the lighter might actually be in here even if we didn't see it the first time we might now see it is my point point. and if we don't then I'm just gonna assume it's somewhere downstairs and we're gonna have to deal with that it's gonna suck it's gonna suck a lot yeah I think we have no choice I think we're gonna have to go downstairs Ugh. Ugh, I really don't want to I really just want the lighter to magically appear in front of my face right now. Alright. Uh, let me look up real quick. Alright. I'm ready to head downstairs. Let's look for a lighter. So my first guess would be... One second. Let's head towards that light, I guess. I was gonna say my first guess would be that there's a lighter in the kitchen. I'd like to think. And then if not the kitchen, then the living room. And if not the living room, then I guess I'll just work my way through every room until I hopefully find it. Oh, hello. Any lighter in here? This would be a strange place for one, but... Okay, I don't see any lighter over here. So we will move it along. So we're gonna try the 
living room next, because that's my next guess. I just want to reconfirm that I can't open any of these drawers. This power's off again. Alright, into the kitchen. I mean, living room. Okay, nope. Oh, oh, that worked. Okay, that's something. looking for more light switches but yeah let me look around for a lighter specifically oh here we go is this it it's tiny that's actually a little bigger than usual okay so i guess they want me to run back upstairs for this and then i'll um come back down probably to get the other stuff i wish they would just let me get it all at once but oh all right let's start lighting these one oh i have to hold it again one Two, two. I think those are my footprints, right? Three. Four. Four. Five. And six. All right. I need to find the doll, the ancient book, the metal coin, and the old ring. You just have to find everything still. All right, find the four relics and finish the ritual. All right, let me just once again. Oh wait, does this count? Cause I mean, it's, it's a cross that's just hanging here. This doesn't count. All right, maybe eventually. Cause I think it did say we needed a cross at some point as well, but. Okay, we need ring, metal coin, doll, and old book. Okay, and unfortunately it doesn't seem like a single one of those items is here, so back down we go. I love it down here, it's definitely not scary. Alright, um, I think since we found one of the things in here already, like the lighter in here, I don't think any of the other four items are going to be in here, but I'll just do a quick pass. Alright, and then I'll check the kitchen, which I also don't think we'll have any of what we're looking for. But, you know, we'll see. All right, I think this part of the house we've checked, so we'll now... Oh, oh, here we go. Ancient book. All right, so now we just need ring, metal coin, and doll. And obviously, I assume the doll's in the kids' room. But we'll just, um, I'm gonna go this way and work my way back, is my plan. Okay, I suspected there's not really anything new in here. Check that again. And also, once again, we'll try to turn on as many lights as we can. Alright, uh, metal coin, ring, doll. Alright, someone could have left a ring in here. So I'm just gonna look around a bit. Because when people go to shower, they take off their jewelry and leave it at the uh, sink counter, usually. Alright, nope, not in here. But maybe in the other half bathroom? No. Okay. I assume the ring's probably in the parents' bedroom, but... You know, we'll find out. Which then, I don't know where the coin would be, but... Hmm. Oh wait, let me turn this on. Make this slightly less scary. Much better. Okay. Let's see, so there must be at least the doll in here. Right? Oh, here we go. Hey. <laughs> mm. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Also, earlier I was actually wondering if... So, if this happened in 1970-something, the thing with the family... Does that mean she's now... Let me think. How old would she be? I think that would be like about 60-ish. No, no, like 50-ish. 
But I'm just wondering if there's a chance that she actually could still be like her body could be in living shape. So if we exercise her, can she just go back to... Oh, I don't know, a normal life probably isn't the word, but you know, existing without being demon-possessed and leave the home and have a nice quiet life in a nursing home. I don't know. Alright, so we still need t t coin and ring. Like I said, I have no idea where the hell we're gonna find the coin. If I'm right about there being the ring in the bedroom, but... Because at this point we've, uh explored all the rooms so if both items aren't in here then I don't know where the one or whatever item we don't find in here is hiding but we'll see what if neither items in here oh here we go oh there's the ring I still need a coin though hmm I guess I would then assume that I just haven't looked thoroughly enough for the coin in the other rooms and would go back through them. Whatever room like didn't have an item in it, I'll just look carefullier. Okay, let me check this room real quick because it's possible there could be a coin in here. Did you drop any coins for me since you don't need them anymore? I was just wondering. Okay, I don't think you did. Also, rest in peace, Brian. I totally respect you. I'm, I'm not being rude by just chilling around your body for no reason. I'll just leave you be. Alright. Fuck. Okay, I need the coin still. It's not even counting down the things I got. Alright. Horn vintage piece of blah blah blah. Let me look at this up close real quick if I can. I guess I can't. Never mind. Okay. Coin. Coin. So I'm gonna go back to the bathroom because that's like the only room that I can access that I didn't find an item in. Well, I guess in the kitchen, but... Let me see about exiting again. I can't see the car at all anymore. I don't know if the car is gone now. Um... Let me look up. Obviously I don't think the coin would be on the ceiling, but like there's a chance it could be on these shelves here, you know? Oh, I don't think I found anything in this room. Actually, I don't think I went in this room at all. I think I completely forgot about this room. Okay, so I'm expecting to find the coin in here then. Please? Please, coin? Show. Show yourself, coin. One second, I just saw something a little... Never mind. How is it not in here? Am I sure it's not in here? Let me close this behind me real quick. Maybe it's behind the door. It's not. Can I turn this on? Okay. Okay, let's make sure none of these boxes open or anything. Because so I feel like this should definitely be the room that the coin's in if it's not in the bathroom and not in any of the other rooms I checked. I'm scanning carefully. I'm looking. Nope, I'm seeing no coin. I don't think I can open this up either. Huh. Hmm. Okay, I'm looking up. Up, up, up. Uppies. Nothing. Alright, I guess I'm gonna try the bathroom again, and then, like I said, I'll try the kitchen. And I'll even try the living room once more. And then I'll try the basement again. Or when I- oh shit, actually, yeah, I could try the basement. Fuck, I don't want to try the basement, though. No one wants to- how did I get to- oh, right, I don't think I can access the basement, actually. Because this was the basement door, right? And that's not openable, so... Kids room. It's not just randomly here or up there. It's not randomly on the floor. I feel like it should be in here. But I I don't see it. This is my sleeping bag. Check in the tub.
Nope, but I don't see it for shit. Okay. Alright, kitchen and living room, and then we'll have to check the attic again. And I think I checked, like, over here in this corner. What about over here on top of this weird table? I checked that. Nothing over here. Did I turn it off or on? Definitely don't see any sort of coin here. A coin would be so hard to see. I think I'm just gonna probably bring these items upstairs. And you never know, maybe we're not even supposed to find the coin right now. It might be like, oh darn, I forgot the coin. And then he's gonna be like, oh, you know what? I have a coin in my pocket. And then he's just gonna take it out in a cutscene. And I'm gonna be like, really? You made me look around when you knew you had the coin in your pocket the whole time? All right, we're super duper making sure. I'm looking super hard. I'm looking in every tiny little corner. I'm looking at the walls. I'm looking at the floor. I'm look. oh, I see it. <laughs> Hell yeah, okay. I did swing by here. Like this was one of the first rooms I checked, but I guess I missed it, my bad. All right, we got all the items though. So let's um get our ass kicked by a demon. We already know that's what's gonna happen. There's n There's no way this is gonna go right. All right, I don't think it matters which one we put it on. So yeah, it already is gonna automatically put them in the right spot for me, so that's good. All right, and then we're supposed to do a bunch of chanting. That's up to James to do, I'm not gonna do it. Did we just wait here for her to show up or was there another step? Place it, oh right, the doll. Okay, my bad, forgot about that part. Okay, here we go. It's time for us to fight. Oh. Okay, good. He's going for the crucifix. I, I hope. Yes, yes, we got it. Good. Let's start slapping with him with this. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command you, Astara, to depart from Emily. I'm glad you remembered that. I don't really get why her outfit's changing. I get that one's supposed to be good Emily and one's Astaroth, but why would they have a different body? The point is that the demon's possessing her body. Just get the fuck out of here. I can't stay here any longer. Did we- did we grab Emily? One sec, I need to see, I can't see shit. Where is she? Did we not succeed or... I, I don't know. Or is her soul freed but her body was destroyed but you know she is all good now? I, I don't know man. I know you said leave and I was in a rush to leave earlier but now I have questions. Now I, I want to know more. Also we- yeah we never opened up that panic room so are we really just gonna leave right now? Let's see. I mean I assume we're gonna get stopped but... Do we have that cross with us? I don't think we do. Okay, let's um yeah we don't actually have a new objective but we'll just assume that it's to leave and to live a happy life and to live the way that brian would have wanted us to what door are you talking about what door is he talking about oh this door i mean yeah you're right okay oh yeah that's right i forgot that the front door was locked and that the key didn't work anymore but I thought that he was gonna be like, oh, you know what? I can actually just kick this because I have boots on, so this wouldn't really be a problem. And I'd prefer living than like being polite and not ruining the door. But I guess if this door is already open, we can just do that. That's a bit quicker and easier. Okay, press any key to wait another minute. Good, good. I'm on it. I don't know if this game has multiple endings. I do not believe it does, but I can't say for sure. I know that the game page, I don't think, mentioned multiple endings. 
on top of how would you really get a different ending? Either way, you're forced to do the exorcism no matter what, so. Oh, I actually was about to be like, hmm, can I actually go back in the house real quick to see if I could, if that panic room was ever anything, but I guess not. Oh, it's daytime. We don't need this. Nice. We could even put the camera down completely, but since I don't trust that, um, we're in the clear, I'll just keep this on as for evidence for when the police find my body later and my webcam next to it. And when I say webcam, I mean my camcorder. I'm walking super slow. He's not in a rush to get home at all after all that. Alright, I'm just making sure there's nothing new in here. You don't even want to attempt bringing Brian's body back with you? Okay. I mean, it should still be here anyway. Yeah, if we did the exorcism right, there's no reason why his body should suddenly have mysteriously disappeared. So we can just come back with the police. Oh, wait, actually, we can't drive this. Damn, the demon is really thorough about making sure we couldn't leave. Let me see if there's anything... Oh, it's a cutscene. Brian's gone. And even though we have the proof, some things are too personal to share with the world. The nightmare is over. But it came at such a terrible cost. Brian deserved better. Then why didn't you do better, James? <laughs> He's just walking up into the air now is what this looks like. Okay, it kind of seems like we did get a good ending, which I'm surprised. I thought there was no way in hell we were going to get a good ending. I mean, well, I don't know. How good is it if our best friend Brian's dead? But aside from that part, which James isn't even bothered by, it was a good end. We saved the girl. We saved ourselves. We got good footage. All right. That's the game. Um, it was an okay game. Um... It's just my main issue with it is that there's a lot of other games like it that do it a little bit better but it wasn't too pricey of a game and it was still a fun time so i hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching bye